Okay, this is this is Doc. Um, I want to do a, just a quick update with the uh, um, virus video I did. Um, I'm new to this video stuff. Uh, being retired and used to take pictures. I'm not used to this. I seem like a mild guy, but frankly, I'm not a mild guy. Um, you don't want help. I'll leave you to lay there to die because uh, that's just the way I was trained. Um, uh, I might not look it because I am getting older. Hit the big 50 this year. <laughs> and then Amy didn't kill me yet. But um, the virus that's going to be rolling through, um, I want to just do a, a little update on that. Uh, uh, it, it is doing its due. Uh, it is airborne, uh, but how it's mainly contacted is if you're in areas like uh, malls, grocery stores, groups of people, uh, you know, the classic. Uh, that's how you end up getting your flu and everything else is from somebody else coughing or you walking around the corner after they coughed and it's still in the air. Well, this virus spreads the same way. Um, I think I mentioned on the first video that uh, Eastern nations flying into Hawaii, they are, they are really pushing for people to mask up. So, because in close quarters on a plane, one person can affect 250 people, and then uh, it just runs from there. But uh, the, the uh, oil of oregano that I encouraged in the first video... Uh, man I'm growing to respect on here that I've, I've listened to and watched his videos and, and uh, his, his, his name is Eric and it's the E, big E, looks like a space R-I-C. If you have him or you can look him up, you can, uh, um, he's got some good stuff and uh, I respect his, uh, his, he's very forthright in what he says so that's, um, I judge people by their character, not by what they look so don't judge me by my appearance either because uh, um, I'm more than just this uh, maybe simple looking guy on, on, uh, on YouTube here. Um, matter of fact, I was playing with this today. This is a uh, crossbow pistol. This ain't your little cheapy crossbow pistol. This thing actually has 80 pounds, it, it, it's a, it, 80 pounds pressure, 80 pounds compression, however you want to put it. Um, I got tired of the big crossbow, so I went to this, and this thing is, it, it shoots these little six inch darts, and um, at 50 yards, I skewered a squirrel, and the only reason it stopped from going through it is because these are hard plastic instead of feathers, and it, it kind of made it that far and then stopped. It would have went straight through at 50 yards, so... Um, uh, silent but deadly. <laughs> I like playing with stuff like that, where you're in and out and you don't make too much noise. That's that's just the way things go. But this is a good, this is a great crossbow, and it's also self-cocking, which you can fucking get in the video. All you do is squeeze this trigger, and it actually cocks it back for you. Yeah, it's great, especially great for older guys like me, huh? <laughs> Anyhow, back to the virus. I just wanted to update this. It is six gallons for six days. Now, there's a purpose for that. The the oil of oregano, it's 20 drops. And I want to remind you that oil does not mix with water. And so you have to shake it vigorously before you, before you drink because that's the only a temporary com combination and then it ends up separating again. And the gallon of water, the reason or the purpose for the gallon of water is this stuff affects your kidneys, affects your liver, affects all other organs of your body. So what you, the, the water is a catalyst for the oil of oregano, or you can just take the drops, but it's so bitter and strong on your system, you've got to flush this, this crap out of your system. So the easiest way to flush it out is to use the catalyst to flush it out with. So you drink the gallon of water, 
you get the oil of oregano in you, the gallon of water flushes out the other parts of the body. So that's the reason for that because you don't want to you don't want to damage your kidneys or you don't want anything like that to occur. And if this stuff's affecting your body, and the the reason for the six days, um, if you hear in your community on your local news that that uh, there is a person that has been found with uh, with the H7 and 9 9N, I get those last two backwards, virus um, in your community or in your county, um, you need to get the water prepared. It's six gallons per person. Okay, I know it sounds like a lot of water, and I know I know it sounds like drinking a lot of water, but when you're dealing with something this this deadly, um, you take your medicine, uh, whether it tastes good or or not. If it's going to save your life, I don't care if it tastes like skunk. If it's going to save my life, I'm going to take it. So, um, the six gallons. 20 drops per gallon for six days. The six days is the incubation period. Somebody somebody coughs and gives you this stuff that you don't know you got. It takes six days for it to incubate in your lungs and in your system before it starts spreading and you become contagious. You will not feel any symptoms for the first six days. So that's why the six days. And when you're done with the six days, it doesn't mean you're done. All right, when you're done with the six days, um, you mask up and you kind of isolate yourself and you stay away from uh, people or groups of people as much as possible until uh, until what it does, does. Um, now, don't go get them, for those who don't have the special apparatus, big military breathing apparatuses, uh, all you got to do is go to Lowe's or... Home Depot or even a hardware store, um, and don't buy them cheap little surgical masks. To just, they think that you know that you see people wearing when they're walking around a hospital, you know, to keep when somebody's sick. That's fine for you to keep from spreading something, but in order for you to keep from receiving something, you've got to have a filter on it, and they're called M95 filters. I believe they're M95 filters. I believe I have. I have right here my Alice. Yeah, here they are. Now this is what. This is an M95 filter. You don't have to go on some special website to buy them. Let me see if I can. See, it says M95. See this little plastic piece on the front? It's a filter. See, it's not just your average little mouth mask. And it's got the metal to crimp so there's no leakage. All right, now you can get these, like I said, at Lowe's, Home Depot, any place where they do construction because when they do drywalling, painting, and all that stuff, they, they need to, uh, of course, protect their lungs. And this, this is, this, these M95, they also prevent viruses and bacteria from flowing through. Because see, these things are thick. They're not thin and flimsy. You can actually see the on the inside where that filter, or back side of that filter is. But these are thick. They're not thin. And they might not be that. They got two bands to hold it on, not just one. And it really snugs up against your face. If you can see, this has got a these things out with the with these cameras it's got a rim around it which is a little little just a little flat rim around it corrugated rim that helps uh, adhere to your face so it you know shapes to your face there you go you can see a better thing of how it's flattened around this with the uh, water is about your best bet with this virus, and I say that because um, we don't have access to what the government has access to to protect their people. So we have to improvise, and this is the best bet. A simple old thing, you can buy I think like six of these or seven of these for five bucks. 
all right so when this stuff does flow through whenever the government I probably decides to make it flow through or get it started uh, have these on hand and watch your local news or your watcher you know and or your state or however you'll you'll get word go to the CDC site to see what's going on um, they're pretty they they keep things pretty much up to date on that um, to a point but anyhow uh, this is what you use simple little thing not expensive people not expensive to live of course if you don't want to spend a dime it ain't nothing to die. Frankly, I'm hanging around as long as I can. Because I serve two things. One is God, and the other one is country. I, that's the two things I love. I didn't join the military to see the world. I joined the military to help save lives. Like I said, I am not an official doctor, but I am... And I went through all this last. I've done with medical all my life. I've dealt with it. Uh, naval hospitals, out on the field with Marines, and let me tell you, it don't have to have. It don't have to be a wartime. Uh, there's all kinds of. Uh, well, let me just say that the military is never quiet. So there's always something going on around the world, and we're we. While I was in, we were involved with it. So that's about the best I'll say with that. But anyhow, uh, don't take me as a, oh, this guy just looks like a little something nobody. No, look behind me, you'll see some of my gear. Uh, that, ain't, that, ain't, that ain't crap. You'll, you'll be, I mean, you'll never know what I have, but you'll also never know what I know. So um, I'm just here to help you. Now, if you want to help yourself, nothing I can do about that. But I do have a heart for my brothers and sisters. And I do have a heart to save lives. So I'm not on here just to come up with weird stuff. I'm on here to give you the truth. So accept the truth, okay? If you really want to know, I'll keep posting. I'm figuring all this stuff out. And I'm also on the Minuteman site. I think I posted a quick basic kit on there. Um, take a look at that because uh, there is a couple simple things you got to have in order to keep from uh, um, taking a simple little wound and preventing it from, you know, losing a body part. So uh, I'll be posting more stuff on there also. And I'll st I'm getting into this video stuff. So. I'll be putting some uh, up more videos, but I hope I clarified that for others. If there's st if you're still confused and have questions, just reply to the to the uh, video, and I'll be glad to give you as best an answer as I can. Okay, just remember, I'm here to help you. I got your six. All right. If you don't understand that, it means I got your back. But if you don't want me to have your back, there's plenty of other people that do. All right. God bless you.